Hi friends, Simit here from InformTrades.com. In this video, I want to talk about Fibonacci retracement lines, provide sort of an introduction to them, and, uh, and explain at least how I use them in my trading. Key points, uh, we'll talk about how to draw them. Uh, we'll then focus on using them in pullbacks or measuring trends, measuring pullbacks and trends and wins, uh, how you can use them to buy dips. Uh, as is often the case with uh, technical analysis tools and indicators, you want to look for confluence, meaning multiple indicators saying the same thing. So Fibonacci can be one of the indicators you, you incorporate. And uh, lastly, it's very subjective, which is a criticism that a lot of people have. You know, it's not exactly clear if this, uh, or that you can prove that Fibonacci or tracement levels are meaningful. How to use them? Okay, so the first part is, uh, you know, you, you on your charting application, you can draw Fibonacci retracement levels uh, by measuring trends, or from the bottom of a trend to the top of a trend. So here on the screen right now, you see there's this thin line. Uh, once you see a trend in formation, you know, if you're patient, you're watching, then you can wait for signs of a reversal. So right here, we have a bullish engulfing pattern after the market has really jumped up. Um, so that could be a point where we sort of measure the trend. We pull out a Fibonacci retracement uh, indicator on the chart, uh, draw it from the bottom of the trend to the top, and uh, you know I'm not personally too too picky on being precise, but just a rough idea of you know where did the trend start, where's the base to the top, and then once you draw that, three lines will appear: uh, the 38.2 percent Fibonacci level, the 50 percent, and the 61.8 percent. So basically, it's you know this is 31.38.2 percent of a pullback, you know. So if it went from here, and this line here is a 38.2 percent pullback from the top, this is a 50 percent pullback of the trend, and this is 61.8 percent. Uh, so once you have these lines plotted, the next step is, you know, to think about confluence. So when price, uh, you know, if price does come back to that level, you can look to see what else is happening. So right here, for instance, this candle right here, we, we can see it touches the 38.2% Fibonacci level. It's also touching a trend line from the bottom of the trend, right? This thick black line is a trend line. And it's also a hammer candlestick pattern. So we have three signs there that suggest uh, a potential reversal, that, that it could be a good dip buying opportunity. And that's kind of what we want to look for. Of course, even in this case, even where we have multiple indicators, there's no guarantees, so we certainly have to obey risk management protocols. But that's sort of a, a simple way of how Fibonacci can be used. That's personally how I use it in terms of measuring trends and identifying when to enter on pullbacks. Uh, Fibonacci is very subjective, which is one of the criticisms of it. Uh, a lot of people like it if they have sort of a, a view of the universe as being, you know, filled with patterns, so it's similar to Elliott Wave and, and things like that. Uh, if you don't like that, this isn't for you, um, but it is something that, that a lot of traders use, and uh, I personally like it as just a way of, of measuring pullbacks and trends, uh, adding to positions on dips and things like that. That's about it. If you have any questions, share your knowledge. Join us in our learning community at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.